welcome back to my channel. This is Dom and um, it's October and time for another War Games Anonymous uh, challenge, monthly challenge. And this month, artillery won out. And so I thought, hmm, what should I do? I've just done some guns for my Cleveburg Napoleonic Army. I've got some more to do. But you thought, I thought, let's try something different. So I've decided to do some more of my sort of occasional English Civil War project. So this is a um, Saker gun um, from Warlord's Miniatures. Uh, Warlord's Miniatures, it's 28mm um, obviously. Nice little model. Um, and I'm going to enjoy doing this. So I've basically just taken it out of the box. It's obviously metal. A really straightforward kit. Um, the wheels just fit on the chassis of the gun and the gun just sits on the on the top there. Um, took a little bit of cleaning up, not an awful lot, um, just a little bit. wasn't entirely sure these, I don't know if you can see them on the wheels. They've sort of got these little bumps here and I think they're supposed to be there. So I've left them on for the moment because they're on both sides. So I suspect they're supposed to be there, like some kind of almost locking system. Um, but we'll see, I might need to just check that out. Um, but the barrel just sat nicely on top, and the sail tied it up pretty nicely. Um, lazy, I didn't have any big bases, so I've just stuck together four of these together. Um, and these um, chest and the, um, I guess that's a powder bag, came in the kit. So I've just stuck all that down for the moment. The crew members, there's four of them. Um, you've got the gunning officer there. Whoops. An officer there with his sword pointing at the target. Just realised I missed a bit of flashing on the sword there. There you go, got rid of that. Um, nice model. He's got his mouth open. Just telling everyone to fire, um, telling the gun to fire. You've got the guy with the uh, the guy with the firelock or whatever it is, the um, the thing that actually sets off the gun. He's blowing on it to get the ember. Um, so that's him. Uh, you've got Powder Monkey, kid moving at quite a young, looks like a youngster or at least a small person, rolling a barrel forward. And finally, the guy with the uh, sponge who's actually uh, got a bag of, well, let's say it's water, but it's probably wine, um, which he's drinking from between his uh, loading duties. He's got rather a nice uh, Dom belly there, very nice. So that's that's the four of them with the with the gun. Um, so I'm gonna obviously made them up, uh, clean them up. Uh, now I'm gonna spray them up and I'll be back with a bit of an update. See you in a little while. So the gun crew, uh, gun and gun crew is coming together quite nicely, actually pretty much done. Um, just need a bit of, um, dry brushing and weathering and what have you. So the gun, um, I just used, um, I, I used the base colour of the contrast, well, it was obviously sprayed grey as you saw, uh, but I used contrast paint Agaris Dunes as the, as the wood colour. Um, just put that all over. Um, the metal work I used a black, I think it was the uh, contrast Templar paint, um, and then all I did was just dry brush it with um, silver just to sort of bring out the tints um, and it's had a wash with um, what do I use Agrax Earthshade it's still it's a bit dark at the moment but I'm going to lighten it up again um, in a minute but um, yeah quite happy with that got the uh, powder uh, keg there on the back and the uh, and the box all ready to go so, yeah, it's looking all right so far. Um, the crew, um, yeah, and they're nice models actually, really nice models. I mean, Warlords do some really good figures. So there's the guy blowing on the fuse. There's the guy taking a little bit of liquid refreshment between uh, swabbing out the gun. Uh, the youngster pushing a barrel of powder out and the officer 
So uh, just as you can see, just use a variety of sort of um, nondescript, nondescript colours. Certainly for the cruise, I've used a slightly red, uh, right, slightly um, brighter blue there for the jacket of the officer because he's probably going to be the one with the. Uh, with that sort of money to buy a coat, a nice decent coat. Um, but they've all been painted up. Um, I used my standard approach with the skin of using um, pale skin and then putting a wash of, um, well this time I actually used a, a dark oath flesh contrast paint over the top. <clears throat> and I like the effect it has. I think it just seems to work for me in terms of giving the uh, it's almost like highlighting the flesh without actually highlighting it which is which is great uh, they've had a wash this time I washed them with uh, null oil because I wanted that darker look um, and I'm now going to stick them to the base position them in the right way um, actually no probably first I don't know should I dry brush them first now I'm going to position them first, then I'll dry brush them because I like to dry brush after they've had a varnish. So um, I position, I'll position them now, stick them down, do the base, and I'll be back. And there you go. There's the finished gun. And I have to say I'm very pleased with him. Um, I've um, obviously stuck the figures down on the base. I've found a couple of uh, bits of another box, a couple of um, um, broken wheels that I had in the kit box. Um, also there's a, I can't quite see it, but there's a, a rolled up piece of um, cloth there. Just stuck them down, a few tufts. Um, I used different, a couple of different uh, basing things. So the, the middle bit where the gun is, is a bit more gravelly uh, than the outside, which is more sort of rocky, if you know what I mean. Um, given the entire thing a dry brush with um, Iraqi sand um, yeah I'm quite happy with it I think it's turned out pretty good uh, the one thing I do need to do I think is just yeah I do I just need to I've realized I need to just put an edge around the uh, around the base uh, around the edge just black that to make it less shiny but I'll do that afterwards but yeah I think I'm gonna say they're done I'm quite pleased with that. I think the gun looks really good. Um, it will go in the box with all my uh, uh, Royalist figures ready for the next time we get some pike and shot done. Um, so I'm going to say my October um, artillery challenge is complete. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope your projects are going well. I'm looking forward to seeing, I'm starting to see a uh, few people's October challenges done. Um, and some jolly nice work that is too um, but I um, hope everything was going well for everybody I hope you're staying safe and um, yeah stay well stay safe and I will see you again soon this is Dom signing out <laughs>